All right, all right, all right. Let me see. We don't got nobody up in here yet. I got four people in the bushes. Oh, hey, baby. Hey, Sam. Girl, because I got people just looking at me and shit. <laughs> Seven Karen. Hey, baby. All right, y'all. Let's get this fucking party started. Halima. Ah, Karen. That's what I'm talking about, Juicy. Hey, y'all. Yes, baby. Okay. It's been a lot of shit going on in these two seats today. Shit. I gotcha. That's my sis. Butterfly. Hey, baby. Hey, sisters. My sister's in the building. That's what I'm talking about. It's like y'all all came at once. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all, we need to pray for Baltimore first, you know. Pray that they find the, the cars that are still in the water. That is so sad. Let's talk about that first or whatever because, you know, my mom is born and raised in Baltimore. And we got a lot of family out there. Mocha, mocha, mocha. Mocha, what is going on? Why? Where's your mom stick? What is up with this stupid thing? I'm going to have to fix that, Mocha. I don't know what's going on. I just made you a mod. I don't know what is going on. These things, I make people mods, and then same thing happened with um Laura, and I just had to remake her mod just before we got on. Mocha, I got you, baby. You know I got you, because I need you on my team. Yes, let's pray for B-more or whatever. I got a lot of family up there, but um, they got three cars in the water. That they still trying to find. I think they said it was um they said it was it was construction workers. I'm not sure who else is following that. Who else is following it? It's so sad. Did y'all see that that bridge and that water like that? I was like, oh my god, took my fucking breath away. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Yes, yeah, Mocha, and you know I got you, girl. As soon as we get as soon as I get off of this, you know, I ain't gonna lay down until I I get that together. And shit, because I'm like, you the second person that that happened. That that happened to um my girl Laura. And right before we got on, I had to remod her. But I'm I'm gonna fix that. You know I'm gonna fix it. But yeah, y'all, that was so sad. Hey Donna, that was so sad. What happened? Um, what happened in Baltimore right now? But you think like these damn bridges out here? These bridges is old as hell. My daughter was saying to me. Like, mom, the George Washington Bridge is bad like that. I don't know how many of y'all is from the East Coast or whatever. But, you know, we up here by the um by the George Washington Bridge. Not that close. We're in Pennsylvania, but we're always over there in Jersey. That's where we're from or uh, whatever. And my daughter was saying, like, that's how the George Washington Bridge is. You know, they don't really be doing no maintenance on these old-ass bridges. And that's sad. Or whatever. And then I was thinking, like, how the fuck that boat just, that big-ass boat running to there like that? Right, Juicy? They, they need to be doing routine checks on these bridges. Hey, Taz. Hey, sis. So I'm like, that shit is sad. I think they said the, um, the boat went out before it hit the bridge or some shit like that. That was just so sad. That really messed me up. And then for them to, it's been like a whole, what, like a day or so, and they still ain't found them people yet? Shit, what what water is that? Is that the um the Atlantic Ocean or something like that? What water is that? What? Gotcha. Who had a bomb? Hey, Roxanne. Hey, baby. Who had a bomb, girl? It was a bomb. That's that's what happens to the bridge. No, that's not what happens to the bridge. Or whatever. I think they said a boat hit it. The boat lost power or some shit. I don't know. But I, I know that shit is a tragedy. I hate when things like that happen in the U.S. And then we so fucking stupid. We can't even find the people or whatever. But I bet you some shit happened in another country. We can go over there and find everybody. Scoop them all up in one fucking walk. Let me see. That wasn't an accident on that bridge. That's hard. I, oh, my God. Mocha. 
I will because it's just so that's why I say like when shit like that happened in the US, hey Patty Batty, hey baby, hey boss lady. That's what I said. I said like when things like that happen in the US, it it just really like fucks me up because it's like, damn, how the fuck is our shit fucking how can this happen here? Put it like that. When we can go other places and rescue them and do all this stuff and all of that. It just really messes me up when I think about it or whatever. Y'all, let's get into this live earlier. I was, uh, let me tell y'all, okay? I don't I don't usually start working until like 9, 10 o'clock, maybe even 11 o'clock. It really depends on what I have to do as far as my business and stuff like that. I usually get maybe like one, two orders a day, something like that. Or whatever. So I don't, I usually like to lay in the bed. Or whatever. I get up and do whatever it is that I need to do. I like to relax, though, or whatever. In the morning, I, I, there's no rush for me to get up. I get up early, like, um, I get up, like, 5. I have Fajar, which is prayer, at about 6. That'd be, like, 5, 50, 6 o'clock. Um, then I get my son up or whatever. I get my son up. And then I usually lay back down. I got my son up this morning, and I was like, let me just check this YouTube shit out real quick. Run around the block. I was like, let me let me spin around the block real quick. I spit around study block and honey, I must have spent around at the right fucking time. Okay, Betty. I mean butterfly. But butterfly, you came here at the right time, baby. Now I must have spent the block at the right fucking time, y'all. Cause soon as I spent that shit, she started saying about, she started saying about, um, she started saying about, I'm, I'm reading the comments, y'all. That's why I'm so stuck. She started saying about how she just now, how she did not see the live. So last, last night we went live last night. Was it last night? I think it was last night. Or night before last. Well, whenever we went live, y'all, or whatever, we thought that she had already seen it. Well, she did not see it, or whatever. And her ass was mad. It's, well, she act, first she acted like she wasn't mad. I was like, okay, all right, Sonny, that's how you do it. Take that shit like a champ. Tell them that they can have each other, because that's what she was saying. They can have each other. And all that, and I was like, all right, all right. But then that shit started getting deep. She started really, like, going off and shit. You know what? She said some things up there. She said, we've been at war for two months, my nigga. I was like, who the fuck been at war? Girl, you've been at war. <laughs> she delusional as hell. I was like, girl, you've been at war for two fucking months. That man been sitting back doing all right, okay? Been sitting back doing all right. Yo ass been at war for two fucking months. I, I, oh, God. I was like, Lord, she going to have a nervous fucking breakdown. I know she going to have a nervous fucking breakdown. She kept going, though. She kept going. I, let me tell y'all. I recorded this shit. But she kept going. I fell asleep, woke up, and her ass was still going, and that shit was still recording. <laughs> So, you know, I got a video coming. I got a video. I'm, I guess I got to put all them clips together. I did some editing on the other clips that I wanted to show y'all that this bitch don't do nothing but beg all the fucking time or whatever. But now I got to put this other thing in, this whole fucking rent in too. Now, what I was saying is Marcus said he, he need the views, the statistics or whatever. Here's my thing. Do some extra shit. I mean, now we done seen you grab ass. We done seen you ask pervert questions. We done seen you be the predator that you are. I want to see some other shit. Know what I mean, I said, shit, suck dick on camera. I'll come watch that shit. <laughs> I will come and watch that shit. And I will post that shit to my community wall and tell y'all to go watch that shit. <laughs> we can get them all the way up there. All of you, he want to motherfucking see. He been pushing out content, not even think. Oh, my God, Steven. Hi, Steven. Yes, he has. Okay? Because it's been corny as hell. And he expects for it to go to the top. Like, boy, I was looking at that. I have that shit I don't even click on. I read the goddamn title. And I know when he reaching, lying, you know, trying to make it seem so salacious or some shit. I would not click on that shit. She didn't. 
she didn't see it because he told her beforehand that it wasn't going to be nothing. And the dummy believed him. I'm loyal, my nigga. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that what she said, Mocha? She always the last to know that, baby, he was just using you. Like, it's so fucking sad. And he knew what he was doing because they put the shit on her, which is, that was really, I mean, uh, hooray for old girl, though, because she got the shit on her channel. I would have did that, too. He ain't going to use me up like he did y'all bitches. Shit. Well, he ain't use up Mayana and shit, but you know, I use them bitches. Yeah, she live at the hospital now. Oh, my God. Donna, I see her over there at the hospital. Oh, my boy in the building. <laughs> Eric, Eric, get out my chat, okay? <laughs> get out my chat. Hey, y'all, if y'all not subscribed to Jersey Concrete, please go subscribe to Jersey Concrete, okay? He got the banging ass interviews over there, and he ain't nothing like Marcus. Ain't no perverted shit going on over there. Mad love, Eric. You already know. Let's see, Donna said, I mean, Mocha said, Donna, ain't shit wrong with her. She need, yo, no. How about this? She ran out of fucking colostomy bags and called the ambulance to take her ass to the hospital to get more colostomy bags. That's some broke ass shit. I don't know why the moms ain't step up. They step up any other goddamn time. She talked about him eating. Oh, oh, Samantha, I heard that shit. I almost threw up in my mouth when I, when I heard that shit. I was like, oh, my God, he is so disgusting. He is so fucking disgusting. Oh, he's so disgusting, y'all. That's nasty. That was so nasty. That, that grossed me out. When I kept... When I catch her, the camera be pointed at the ceiling. I'm like, girl, bye. Girl. Right. Right. She, But you know what? That's because she's trying to... But you, when, when the camera's pointed at the ceiling, if you listen, you can still tell what's going on. She be feeling around in that bag. And I'm just mad she don't go wash her hands after she do that. I'll be hearing her, I guess, changing her bag. And then what she go do? Put a mouth, put a hand right on the mouth, cause that's what she do. Yes, yes, Alima. I, I, let's see, that shit was nasty, yo. <laughs> yes, Eric, you better get up out of here, boy. Okay, you know. <laughs> but thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for showing me some love, baby. Thank you. Yes, Betty Betty, she ran out of bags. Are you kidding me? Okay, who the fuck calls the hospital because they ran out of bags? That is some, that's some crazy. She's wasting resources, but she don't give a fuck. That girl don't give a fuck. Soon as she get rid of them kids, she's on the first flight out of here. I know everybody heard her when she said that. Hi, Tennessee. All right, now, that's my boy, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all go go subscribe to Jersey Concrete because I'm telling y'all, he do some really, really good interviews, y'all. Right in my hood, he do some really, really good interviews, and it ain't nothing, nothing perverted going on over there. Nothing. For real, Mocha, I must I must catch at the wrong time. Yes, boss lady, you catch at the wrong time. You definitely catch at the wrong time because she'll come on, but she trying not to show her face too much because, you know, she's, Try not to smoke or do do nothing bad, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes she cares. Sometimes she don't. At this point, I really feel like she doesn't care. And I really feel like that because she's not fighting for her kids. She's talking about giving her kids to somebody and all that crap. I don't agree with that. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hello, Vic. Oh, that's my boy. Hey, baby. Uh, Laura. What, what is going on? Yo, every... Oh, God, Lori, you still ain't highlighted. And that, the same thing happened to Mocha. I made both of y'all mods. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to figure it out when I get off, though. I'm going to figure it out. I don't need y'all to... The, I don't need you to comment no more, Lori, because I'm going to figure it out. Gosh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. But hey, baby, anyway, that's my babe. Okay. Um, Exactly, Mocha. Wasting taxpayers' money. She calling them because she need the fucking colostomy bags and shit. That is crazy. That's crazy. That's like calling 
calling the ambulance because you need band-aids. I mean, how crazy does that sound? Uh, girl, woo, ain't it gross? I'll be like, what is she doing? Is she changing the fucking bag? <laughs> and I bet you she ain't gonna wash her hands. And she don't. She lay back right there playing in her mouth, playing in her hands and shit. <laughs> right, boss lady. At the hospital. Yes, I hear her going off, Karen. I, I clicked over there for a second. She was going off because she was telling them that they should buy her some fucking bags and shit. At the hospital, mad. Her kitty went. She kitty went trying to get glossy bags. They only gave her two. Oh, <gasps> what? She what? They only gave because they used to her. Y'all may think they don't have no record, but the hospital got records of when you come. Every fucking time you come, they put them little notes in. They done already. She first of all, that's some bullshit to be coming to the hospital for. So I'm pretty sure they put that in the notes. Like she only came here just to get more bags. Everybody ain't gonna be giving her all them bags. Yo, that is crazy. You can't tell if she home or at the hospital. <laughs> okay, do. Oh God, but yeah, but you could tell the difference because that ceiling at home got a motherfucking hole in it, honey. We can see straight up in there. She better hope don't nothing come crawling out of that shit one day. They need to get that dead roach out her light fixture. Oh my God! What? what in the in the ceiling? Oh my God! That's why I say that house is towed up. And she had the nerve to say, "Oh, we got a big house and this, this, this." I don't care about no big house if that shit fucked up. She claims she just now signing up for insurance and it'll kick in in April and all this stuff. But that's just a bitch that ain't on her motherfucking dean. Okay, because first of all, this girl ain't got no job or nothing. And she on Social Security. Why the fuck she ain't on Medicaid? Medicaid would have paid for all that shit. Okay, she, she need to really get up on her shit or whatever. She was never no fucking boss or nothing like that. Like, she talking about Medicare. She was saying her Medicare kicks in, but bitch, you should have been on Medicaid this whole time. And so the fuck should them girls. So if she ain't on Medicaid, them girls ain't got no motherfucking insurance either. And that's sad. Hey, love. Why do you think she really giving up custody? Honestly, I think she giving up custody because she can't stop getting her. That shit may sound like a simple thing. That shit is hard. We watched them interviews, y'all. We watch some interviews. We watch people struggle with this shit for 20, 30 years, all their fucking life. Like, and you may think that, okay, she's not really doing no hard drugs like heroin, crack, stuff like that. She's smoking weed. Yo, I've seen motherfuckers not be able to smoke weed. Like, she can't, she can't not not drink. She can't not not do it. And she knows she can't. And she keep getting, and trust me, every time an accusation happens or they catch her or whatever, they're letting her know. They're letting her know that she is in jeopardy of losing the kids. If First of all, Sunny can make y'all think all she wants that they just came to that house, looked around, and left. Trust me, it was accusations of her doing drugs. Any accusations of doing drugs, and they have to urine test you. <laughs> okay? So they done drug test her. Okay, and how they do, I worked for lab for if y'all look at my cancer thing, y'all will see I worked for the lab, okay? How they do, they test the levels. So if our levels was at a certain amount, say like we're gonna say for instance, her level was at 300 when they test her. When they they're gonna test her again in 30 days, and they let her know that. She know damn where she she didn't she ain't stopped in them 30 days. Then once they test her again in those 30 days. Or whatever, they're gonna check the level. The level is gonna be higher than 300 because she's been getting fucked up since, or whatever. And, and as far as they're concerned, her level should be, even if it's not completely out, it should be very, very low. She knows she's not gonna be able to do that. They already told her the consequences of everything. Trust me, because they do that. People can make you think that they just come in and swoop their kids all the fuck they want, but they don't. They let your ass know. Because they give you a fucking chance to get your shit together. Like, you know? 
So when they go against that judge and your ass right there, they show, they gave you this chance, they gave you that chance, they gave you this chance, they gave you that chance. You ain't do shit. You, you ain't want your kids. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why his mouth always dry licking his lips. I just can't watch her for long because the rattling sound of the plastic colostomy bag gets on my nerves. Girl, that's what I said. She probably getting pain pills too. She definitely getting pain pills, Salima. And she mixing them shits with that alcohol and the weed. She mixing that shit or whatever. That's why she be looking spaced out in the eyes sometimes when we see it she be looking so spaced out i'm telling y'all you didn't get your notifications i know and laura look and i, I don't know what's going on with this thing because you know i just made you a mod don't curse me out later either because you know i just made you a mod i don't know what this thing doing i'm gonna fix it down <laughs> but she said she doesn't have insurance, has to pay out of pocket, but you going to the hospital. That's how you know she lying. She ain't paying shit out of pocket. What she mean is they going to bill her and she ain't going to pay that shit. But, and them two bags was not free. Trust me, the hospital going to bill her ass for that. They bill you for everything. Let me tell you something. If they give you one Tylenol, they charge you for the, um, for the amount the whole motherfucking bottle costs. Okay? Like, they going to get their money. Trust me. They gonna get their money. Let me see. I'm all the way down here. Hold up, y'all. I gotta. Damn. Let me see. Okay. Let me come down. No. If you get exercise, she automatically get Medicaid. That's what I'm saying. And Medicaid. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Halima. That's what I thought. Like, but she made it seem like. She don't get it, and I don't really know, or whatever. But she made it seem like she 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 didn't get it like that, or whatever. I don't know. This girl is just full of shit. That's why I say she must not be on her dean at all, and it must mean them kids ain't got no insurance. Because if she ain't got no fucking insurance, them kids ain't got no insurance. She got some new shirts. On the 21st, she knew she had no bags. And you know what? That's so sad. And what's really sad is that she was telling my, post my cash app. Post my cash app. I need $50. I want to get me this. Oh, I want pasta. I want steak. Bitch, you want colostomy bags. What the fuck? It's a little dirty ass. Also, I'm sure <laughs> D-Facts been getting a lot of reports about her. She giving up as she should as she should right now. You know what, butterfly? No, she shouldn't. What she should do with that shit have did, that shit should have put a fire under her ass. That shit should have put a fire under her ass and made her, oh fuck this. I gotta do what I gotta do for my kid. I'm gonna get on YouTube, but I'm not gonna be doing all that shit on YouTube. Like if she, if she, you know what I'm saying? Cause still get your money. Or whatever, I'm not going to be doing none of that shit no matter what. Like, even if you're doing it. Like, she, no, that shit should have made her want to put everything down and fight for her motherfucking kid. But, being that her mind ain't right, and she know damn where she ain't in the right state of mind to fight for him, maybe that is the best thing for him. At least she said she going to give him to a family member. Said she was giving it to a cousin, right? I can't believe her when she said they just came and left. Yeah, I don't believe her. Exactly, LS. Because that will never happen. First of all, whenever that they get an accusation of drugs, you have to prove that you're not on drugs. I don't give a fuck. If it's marijuana or whatever, marijuana better be legal in your state. Like, they're not, that, that never happens. They don't, I don't, I know a couple of people that don't went through some shit. And that shit ain't never happened like that. They just came, looked around, and motherfucking left. Ain't no way in hell. Not when you got all these accusations. No way. Exactly. They make your ass take a fucking test. No matter what. <laughs> shit. Because they want to make sure. And I'm pretty sure with those, um, with the, the complaints that the people was calling in, they was telling them. Go on YouTube. Look at this. Look at that. And remember, I told y'all, she gave them her YouTube. 
and and ran down all the channels that's talking about her and all of that. You think they ain't going to look at that? She know the heat is on. She know the heat is on and she's starting to accept it. That's why she's saying it out loud. Because she's starting to accept the shit. She didn't even need the SSI. Her condition alone approved her for Medicaid. That's what I say. For Medicaid. Yeah, she could have just got Medicaid and so can the kids. So, like I said, if the bitch ain't got Medicaid, them kids ain't got Medicaid. And that's another thing that CPS will be on you about. Them kids not going to the doctor. She had a social worker to sign. And, and, oh, God, I'm glad you said that. And the social workers do sign you up for shit. They do. They, they come right to you if you ain't got it because I would want to make sure they getting some bread. They know they sign your ass up for Medicaid and some shit like that. They go get their bread. They got all that. All of that. She is untitled. She is untitled to medical because the girls are underage. She, she is untitled. Entitled. I, she, you're saying entitled. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. If you have been on SSI for two years, wow, Medicare will kick in. But she should be getting medical unless she admitted fraud in the past. Exactly. She should be getting Medicaid. She should be getting Medicaid because you can get anybody can get Medicaid if you know if you have um low income. Anyone. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. On behalf of our lovely host, I'd like to welcome everybody. Yes, baby, to the truth sector. Let them know this is the truth sector. We all about truth here. Okay. It's all about truth. Shit. We don't give a fuck about nothing and we stand on that shit. And our drags don't ain't limited to no motherfucking body. Anybody could get dragged. If they tag my name, I'm coming. Believe me. Um, I was talking about the notification that was my crazy girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, Laura. <laughs> I know, but they still bullshit because I ain't get the notification that um Kiki was live until after I clicked on it. They so stupid. She's exactly tagged. She's a fucking liar. She's a fucking liar. But that make you think them kids ain't been to the fucking doctor. And I know you supposed to. I think them kids supposed to get a shot at, when they six, five and six. I think the last shot is like kindergarten or something like that. Them kids probably ain't even up to date on no shots or nothing. Man, she ain't she ain't got it. She don't have it in her to do this. And I'm not going to say because she ain't got no limbs. She ain't got this in her to do it because she want to get fucked up. She still don't want to be no parent. She wasn't a parent when the bitch had legs, and she still ain't no motherfucking parent without the limbs. So true. They really don't want to take parents' kids. Exactly. They give you so many chances to organization. Right. Gotcha. They give you so many chances. They'll try to get you in parenting classes. They'll try to get you in drug classes. They'll try to get you in whatever they, they, they feel like is fit for you so that that way when they snatch them kids and they go in front of that judge, they can show the judge that they gave you so many chances. They gave you all these chances, this chance, this chance, this chance. You fuck this up. You fuck that up. You fuck this up. You fuck that up. Like, man, they're not just snatching kids. People want you to believe that. Oh, they just came in and just took my kids. No, the fuck they didn't. Unless they came in and your ass had a needle in your arm or you was it was coke out there or whatever the fuck. Shit. But they don't just snatch nobody's kids. That's all I got. Her chat. Her chat one day and me and her got into it. Read her ass for filth. She just called me out my name. <laughs> and it's easy to read a for filth. How about they cleaned up for the first goddamn time? Y'all, they cleaned up. She was so goddamn happy. She just kept mentioning it. I was like, bitch, this your first time cleaning them sheets and shit? Because she was like, clean sheets. We was up since 6 o'clock. We was up since we been up cleaning. Right, sister? We was cleaning. Right, sister? The slow ass sister, right? Right? Girl, sit your ass down. Hey, Cece. I remember when she first started her YouTube channel that she didn't let go that she didn't let go to rehab because she was cursing them. What? So she couldn't go to rehab. And she need rehab. That's so sad. I can see that. I can see her cursing people out, being nasty as hell, and not getting nowhere. 
Like, I can see that. I can see her the type of person. When she had on legs, she was getting banned out of every fucking store around and everything. Her ass mad. She talking about going to be. Girl, I heard her. And she said she coming for the street sector. Baby, we waiting. What's up? Okay. Because listen, I ain't never scared. Bring it on. I'm with this shit. Definitely. It's fair game. If you ask me. I'm with it. Anybody. I'm with it. Um. I'm lost. She giving her kids up? Simply, how you doing, baby? Yes. She is giving the kids up. She said she just going to give her kids to a family member. She just going to give her kids up, and then she coming for all of us. She coming. Full pressure. And she told the father, and he said, that's fine. What type of shit is that? What type of family is that? Lord. <laughs> the shit is bad, I guess. That's another generational curse that needs to be broken in that family. Because she ain't break none if she going to get the kids away. If they question the little girls, they're going to tell the truth. Unless she, even, let me tell you something, Halima. Even if she coach them, they got a way of getting that shit out. They got a way. I got a cousin that's a, um, that's a social worker. They got a way of getting it out. They good at what they do. They send a season worker. They good at what they do. They know how to get it out. I don't give a fuck if even if you coach them kids. Uh, they them the workers. Some of them workers are really good. They know how to get them out. You know they know how to get that out of them kids. It, it's how you question the kid, even if they were coached. It's how you question them. Because you're not, they're not, you can't, a kid is only going to be able to take in but so much of the coach. They're not going to really be able to get into depth with the kid. Like, well, if they say this, then you say this. And if they say that, the kid ain't going to remember all that shit. You're going to fuck them up, confuse them or whatever. They're only going to be able to take in but so much. And the workers know how to work around all that shit. They teach them that. When she first, let me say, solid tummy is over there lying about benefits. Uh, what's she saying, Mocha? That's why she don't have a home health aid. Also, girl, she don't have that home health aid. You know why she don't have a home health aid. Show them up that home health aid to see what the fuck going on in the house. Whatever, she definitely don't. And the home health aid be not, um, call, call CPS on her ass. The girls get a check, too. She says she got 1500 Then, Then is she getting 900 I don't believe nothing. You know what, Halima? That fifteen hundred sound a lot more believable because, well, then I don't know, but I'm thinking that sounds more believable because if she gets, because she may get nine hundred herself, but she may get another six hundred for the kids, three hundred apiece for both girls. That should sound about right, y'all. Think about it. How the fuck can this girl get high and drunk every fucking day? Like that shit takes money. And I don't know if no 900 can just do it. And, yeah, she back in the mods and shit. But she drinking a lot. <laughs> I said, you see Marcus out there on the motherfucking pole? <laughs> Marcus said, shit, I'm trying to get some views. Marcus about to do anything for views. Let me see. Right, Laura. I just got your message. Okay, that picture is funny. Rock playing. I said, shit, he want views. Let's give him views and shit. Put Marcus' ass on the pole. Marcus gonna have to do something different. He gonna have to do something different if he want my motherfucking view. Shit. Definitely, he gonna have to do something different. I ain't just giving no view up for him and shit. He gonna have to work for this view. She refused on her faith because she was so really believe she that solid. Well, look, Mocha, she learning her ass ain't solid at all. She ain't solid at all. You can't even take care of fucking kids. You ain't solid. A solid, a solid woman is a, a solid mother is a solid woman. And a solid woman is going to take care of her shit. And she ain't solid. She saw you. <laughs> saw you funny and shit. 
I know, LS. It's crazy. I hate it that we don't be getting the notifications. And I want to know when my people is live. I hate getting that shit last. Yes, they is, Alima. That's what I said. She talking about she pay out of pocket. You don't pay shit out of pocket. You toss them bills, bitch. That's what you do. You don't pay a goddamn thing. As they should use in my motherfucking... Okay. Okay. I'm happy they only gave the bitch two bags. Hey, Virgo. Virgo in the house. Hey, babe. Laughing my butt off by saying the host. Tell him. <laughs> gotcha. I said, shit, he going to have to do something different for me to watch. Shit. I said, look. He start giving some head. He sucks some dick on camera. I'll be the first one to watch. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all, everybody come watch. Come and watch. I'm late, Tasha. It's okay, baby. <laughs> Medical and Medicare are different. If she committed fraud, it could be a lifetime suspension. Right, Karen? Right, right. But you know what? She's saying that the Medicare kicks in. I'm sure somebody told me that she does have benefits. There's no way she wouldn't because the hospital would have signed her ass up. Somebody just said that to me. That the hospital would have signed her ass up or whatever. She had no benefits because like I said, they want to get paid. And any way they could find a way to get them paid, they're going to make sure they do it. Shit. And, it's, and they look at it as a win-win for you and them. Hi, Keish. How are you? Welcome to the truth sector, baby. Yes. Hello, everyone who's just joining. She said, give her a month. She's starting her own sector. Girl, that shit. She said that shit. Then five minutes later, one of the little slow-ass mods said in the damn chat. Um, what did they say? The slow-ass mods said. The um, they the soldier sector. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It gets worse. That's their problem. Why the fuck they ain't cheer her on, girl? Fight for your kids. Let's fight for the kids. Let's do whatever the fuck we can do to help you stay with your kids. How about that? Fuck all this shit you egging her on to when she once she get rid of the kids. Jump on a flight and come for us in a fucking wheelchair with one limb. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Exactly. Exactly. She's taking too many ambulance rides. That's right. That's right. Shit. The kids' room still looked a mess, even after she said, girl, and did you see her say, um, she looked so stupid when she put the camera on it, because then she's going to say, oh, yeah, but they, they just got a vacuum, but they can pick that up with their hands, girl, what type of cleaning, she don't know nothing about, the bitch lived in a barn for three years, with no heat and no fucking running water, that's some dirty shit right there, mm, mm she ain't used to cleaning, she ain't even used to washing, shit. She had the nerve <laughs> to say she's giving content creators a week and then she coming. She ain't got to give me no motherfucking week because I'm always ready. I'm always ready. All she got to do is say my name. Anybody, say my name and I'm coming. I'm coming with the bullshit. I'm coming. Believe me, say my name. Shit, you ain't even got to say Kiana. You ain't even got to say Key. Say dirty. I'm coming. She, she ain't got to give me no week. At all, I'm always ready. No, she did not say that. Yes, she did, Keish. Yes, she did. Did y'all hear her and the daddy talking today? I knew he wasn't wrapped too tight. What did he say, Fifi? No, I did not. What did he say? Oh, Lord. She said he said it was okay for her to come at us once the kids are gone. That's some st Who the fuck make plans? For once, they lose custody of their kids. That's some sad shit. I feel sorry for them girls, you know, but maybe they, they probably go into a much better situation. If if CPS is approving of it with the with the family, anything is probably better than being with Sunny motherfucking ass. 
Who the fuck makes plans of when they lose after they lose their kids? That's sad. She's sad. Yeah, I'm starting to think that. I'm starting to think that that's a blessing for them kids. Tennessee. Why, even as I'm saying it, I was thinking, I was thinking that. You know, Sonny always got chicks up her sleeve. I was thinking, she probably lying, saying, oh, I'm going to give the kids to them. And But she's so clumsy and stupid. We're going to hear the kids in the background. She ain't even going to be able to hide the kids and shit. She on live so much, she's not going to be able to even hide the kids. Like, we will know. But I was thinking that. I was like, she probably doing that shit because she want us to stop, you know, thinking like she's going to, she want us to stop complaining. She Well, not us. I haven't called or whatever because really I ain't got the time or whatever. And I, I just don't do shit like that. I feel like if it's going to, if the Lord wanted it to happen, it's going to happen. And look, the Lord is letting it happen. Or whatever. I don't, I don't really. I don't want the karma from that shit, or whatever. But I also was thinking. I was thinking that I was like, she probably just saying that shit. She right. We can't trust that bitch. Can't trust them. Can't trust Marcus ass either. I can't believe that motherfucker is really doing shit for content. Like that really to to think that he was doing shit for content is one thing, but to really have like. I would say proof to really hear it. Like he's doing this shit for content. Like that shit was like, yo, you a content whore and shit. What type of content whore are you? That's what she was telling those girls. Don't tell their business. I heard that, Ellis. I did hear her telling the girls that. Stop telling their business. She sacrifices her kids to be heard on YouTube. Yes. 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 What a fucking duck. You ain't never lied. What a fucking duck. Rotisserie chicken can't be real. She not farm fed. Hence, put everything in her mouth. Exactly, girl. See that, girl. Just yes, yes. Ew, it's so disgusting when you think about it too. Zico, oh, it's nasty. Only, only, only if they go somewhere better than where they are currently. That's what I was thinking. That that that's what I was thinking, Roxanne. I was thinking like maybe it, it it'll be a better if it happens. Maybe it'll be a better situation for the girls. Hey Vanessa, even if she gives them away, we still gonna talk shit, right? Cause she's still gonna be dirty and shit. Now she now it's gonna be sad, bitch. That you still dirty and shit, and you ain't even got no kids to look at. You still begging and your money ain't even going to the kids no more. Hell yeah, we still talking about that bitch. <laughs> we still gonna drag ass regularly. Shit. <laughs> it's a taco chicken. <laughs> a coach will put pull out the dolls and watch. Yes. 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 A coach. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Right, right, right. Watch them. Right. The dad got to sound like that. He just got one long breath. Wait. <laughs> Mocha, shut up. Shut up. Yo, I never really looked at the father like that. Oh, my God. Hell yeah, Steven. Who the fuck gonna deal with all that shit? And she ain't, and you know what? Anything she give him is enough because his VA ain't enough. That's why she was crying because his VA is not 100% or whatever. So whatever his VA is, it's not 100% benefits, which means he doesn't get as much benefits as he can get or whatever. So yeah, he's on a fixed income and she's giving a little cash. So, yeah, he, he's letting her do whatever. But also, I was saying in my live, like, she's all the way down in the basement. I don't think he knows half of the shit that's going on. He's a, he's older. He's not like a young father or whatever. He's like an old 60-something 60, 60 or whatever. And his 60s, the mother is in the 70s. The father got to be in the late 60s or whatever. So he probably ain't even paying attention to half the shit that's going on. 
Yes, the brother. Well, I don't know about the brother. I think the brother, I was thinking about the brother, and I was like, the brother is smart. Cause he probably he sees her reputation on YouTube. That's why he put on a mask every motherfucking time. Imagine that bitch fall and he run to go get the mask first before he pick her ass up. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Like how the fuck he get he always got that mask for this shit. Yes, the brother don't, but he's come down sometimes or whatever. And he's helped her. He helped her a few times, but he always got a mask on. He's smart. He don't want to be associated with that shit. Tasha shit's on. Got Max here. It's something like. Where you at, Vanessa? Where you at? Wow. You know what? Where are you at? I wonder what it is out. I thought it was like it could have been years ago. It was like eight hundred and something, um, in Jersey, or whatever. But that was years ago. Damn, that's the max. That's nothing. But they say SSI doesn't pay as much as disability. So yeah, I can see that. Although we ain't talking about me. But, oh, <laughs> Rocky's <me> so crazy. <laughs> you good, sis? Yes, they do. All of them. All of them. And I know some. Yes, they do. This shit is sad. It's this new generation. And I really can't say new generation because I know some young mothers who really doing a damn thing. Damn thing. I know some young girls really doing a thing, showing out or whatever. Like, first time mothers showing out. I don't know what type of shit. These these women doing drugs. These mothers doing drugs and shit. They need to be stopped. This shit. They need to be stopped. These these sunny mothers need to be stopped. These mothers that don't give a fuck about their kids. She said everyone in the house is working but the sister. Wait. Where the fuck is the father working? She lying. She is lying. Wait, they only gave her two bags. Yes, they gave her two fucking bags. That bitch took that ride all the way there. Had to wait because you know how that should be when y'all go to the hospital. You is not getting seen right then and there. Okay. She waited. All that shit. They gave her two bags. You know she flipped the fuck out. No, she flipped out. They probably was looking at her like, oh my God, she should be more humble than that. <laughs> Oh, shit. He might just do that for views. Girl, if he do, I'll be watching. Let me see, because I'm all the way up there. Damn, y'all, I'm all the way up there. I'm going to come down. Because I'm not scared of her and half of them kids in school. Oh, or cuckoo, or cuckoo, or cuckoo. <laughs> Right, the mods is definitely slow. That's a slow bus right there, baby. Slow bus. Slow bus. And they've created some type of like slow bond. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> they created some type of alliance. They the slow soldiers sector. <laughs> a barn is still crazy to me. Yes, girl. She said a barn. Okay. And she said uh, she it was in the back in the baby father's house. I mean, the baby father's parents' family house. She said the family house. She said it was no running water and no heat. She said they knew. And they none of them, like, try to bring them in the house or something like that. Sonny probably was fine living out there in that barn with no water and shit. She don't like to wash. She be playing in the damn water when we hear that shit. She probably got sores on the back of her torso. Yes, Petty Betty. Yes, she. Um, last time she went to the hospital, she said it was from a pressure sore. Well, y'all, y'all don't hear it when she doing shit, and you know she always like, I'm putting pressure on my sore. She was uh telling the kids to clean up, talking about she bending over, putting pressure on her sore. I feel like she getting pressure sores because she fucking in that broke ass wheelchair. Yeah. That's why the fuck she got pressure sores. Think about it. 
She did that again herself. Some pack sandwiches. <laughs> Ew. It's all nasty. It, but I would have made it happen. Listen, if if she could beg them fucking moms for a steak or and some alcohol and weed, she could beg them bitches for some colostomy back. Why the fuck she ain't put that on the on the wish list? I would have put a case on the wish list. Like, come on, her priority, she ain't never thinking about no fucking priorities. Her priorities is getting high and drunk. Then she said, she never been homeless, girl. You, Yes, girl, you homeless now. That's not your house. You is staying in somebody else's house. Okay? She had the nerve to compare herself to West Indies as a mother. Woo! I was like, what the fuck? No the fuck this bitch did not. Okay? Now listen, I don't agree with the shit that West Indies is doing, but I ain't never seen her mistreat a kid. Or whatever. It actually looks like they have a good relationship. For now, anyway. So they see what the fuck she doing on the damn internet. She looks like she could be a great grandmother. She's <laughs> 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 lived as a cow. Right. 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 Lived as a cow. I said she's gonna. I said. Oh, with this sector. <laughs> right, she better get motherfucking lost because she come this way. She we ain't gonna do nothing but drag her. I'm trying to dox people. Need to dox them demons. Okay, Virgo. All right, bitch, need an exorcist. They got the nerd. If she got the nerd to be talking about all the shit she gonna do. Bitch, get your shit together and go for your kids. That's what I, I challenge you to do. I dare you to do. Shit. They, oh my God. And ain't it the most pathetic shit you ever seen? That motherfuckers is really in there watching her sleep. That's how I know the mods is slow. That's how I know they slow. And she be really snoring. One time I hit that shit, that's all I can hear is her snoring. And they all under there having a whole conversation and shit. Those bags are prescription. If she went to the doctor regularly, her, ins her insurance would pay for Exactly. Or, Tasha, if she went to the doctor regularly, the fucking doctor would give her some. Okay? She's so stupid. The doctor can give you supplies and stuff like that. Not a lot, but they would help you out. I, and, Steven, I really believe that. I really believe that. I really believe if she do <laughs> get rid of the kids, the father, it will be not too long before the father is kicking her ass right the fuck out, bitch. Get your dirty ass out of here. I don't think it's enough money for me to let Sonny stay in my motherfucking basement. She has Medicare. She has Medicaid. Medicare is for disabled and elderly. For some reason, no, much, no matter your situation, it doesn't matter the state is it. It is who he is. Right, right. Cameron, I know about that, but I thought that was just for disability. I didn't know that was SSR too. Okay, right, right, right. I don't blame him. I definitely didn't know, don't blame him or whatever I said. I don't blame him because I just feel like, you know, he's old. He just, she's just trying to help. But once them kids ain't there, what the fuck? He don't need to be helping her. He don't. Man, listen, once them kids ain't there, he ain't gonna feel too bad about telling Sonny she gotta go. Her and that motherfucking slow ass sister. What? <gasps> the father? Oh, he, oh, wow. Wow, so that must mean that he favors Sonny more, which is some crazy shit. He favors Sonny more, probably don't, probably don't like that girl because she broke the wife's wrist. Right, Fifi, that's what I said. I said she going, she probably try to hide the fucking kids. That's probably what she's trying to do is hide the kids. But she's sloppy. We gonna see the kids. 
We gonna see the kids. And to be honest with you, even if she move them upstairs and and, and stop mistreating them, at least you know what I'm saying. At least in front of us, shit, nobody will be reporting her dumbass. Okay, okay, Roxanne, ain't nobody taking my motherfucking children. No one. Oh, girl, you better say that over my motherfucking dead body. Got me fucked up, honey. Me too. Shit, girl, you better say that. You better say that. Nobody. And ain't no fucking weed, alcohol, none of that is worth my kids. None of, none, none of, none of said, I'm not understanding. She said, those poop bags cost only $30, but she'd rather go to the emergency room to get them free. She should ask those men to pay for it. Exactly, girl. She just said she fucked the a six foot tall nigga with a big dick what the fuck see she's a she's the type of bitch that gives niggas money she don't she a fuck for free ass girl all day fuck marcus for free fuck all these niggas for free and here it is she got kids and she begging for money on the internet but laying up with these niggas and, and can't even get a fucking 30 dollar box of fucking bags oh, that shit is pitiful y'all that shit is pitiful. Yes, she is a fucking barnyard animal. That shit is sad. The more I think about that shit, that's so sad. Fucking all these niggas and you can't get a $30 bag. Well, didn't she ask Marcus for $30 one time? Shit. That shit is sad, Joe. That shit is sad. She needs to tighten up for real. Them girls gonna split her kitchen to the white meat when they get older. Girl, it ain't even gonna take too much older. I give them 10 years. Oh, shit. If he, if he gets out, it would be easy to get Sonny into a facility. If he gets out, it'd be easy. Who? If who gets out? The mother? Or if who get out? he gets the kids out it will be exactly steven exactly that's why i said and he ain't gonna really it's not gonna hurt as much he ain't gonna give a fuck as much or whatever once them kids gone that's it that's it but oh you know what i wanted to ask y'all somebody told me after the west indies interview when she got up and turned around, looked like she had a cum stain on her. Is that true? Because I ain't see it all. I did not see the whole fucking... I don't be paying attention to these damn things. Shit. Allegedly, I heard one of the girls say that they are going to an aunt's house. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Karen? She was saying my kid's about to go. My kid's about to go on vacation. They about to be gone for spring break is what she said. She was saying that. And that's probably, she probably trying to make us believe that she's giving the kids away, but the kids are really just going away for spring break. We'll know. We'll be able to see. She's sloppy. She ain't going to be able to hold shit. They are going to the, they are going to the same sister who, who is the baby daddy mama was speaking of, speaking ill of. Who the baby daddy mama was speaking ill of over. Is it Sonny's sister? Is it one of the adopted sisters? Because she said ain't none of them worth shit. She. Why she let Papa Smurf hit it raw? Girl! Woo! That had to be some nasty stink shit there, y'all. That's so disgusting. Because already Sonny has a hygiene problem. And her peer, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. She already has a hygiene problem. The girl don't wash. So just imagine. Just imagine. Ugh. Marcus is so disgusting, yo. He'll fuck anything. He really would, yo. Anything. He, I call him a trisexual. Because he'll try anything. Marcus old ass looking like he smelled like a bucket of grandpa's. I can't. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Girl looking all old and gray and rusty. 
I can't see a grown man caring for his sick wife. Also, I, can, I can't see a grown man caring for his sick wife also allowing an unable body to live in the basement causing chaos in the house. If the kids leave, she's next. Exactly. Exactly. He, I won't even, I wouldn't put it past if he was pushing that shit for, the, for her to let the kids go to a different environment. I would not be surprised if he told her that that's the best thing. Yes, they they are Mocha. Yes, they are nasty as fuck. Marcus is disgusting, yo. If I never thought he was nasty, I it is said today. This motherfucker is disgusting, disgusting. She gonna be drunk and high every day. Those girls do leave. Yes, showing her ass. What? Listen. We may not think that she's slowing up and she cares about the people watching her, but she do. This is her on a calm state. Imagine when she don't give a fuck no more. It's going to be the same shit. She's going to be showing her pussy, getting that drunk, showing her pussy, not remembering the next day. All of that shit. All of that, y'all. Okay, I got to start wrapping it up, y'all. I only had an hour. Yes, respect to the brother. Okay. He kind of knows what's going on. CPS keeps coming to the house. Oh, I'm pretty sure the father do know what's going on. He do know. I'm pretty sure he do. But that's a touchy subject with this girl. I'm pretty sure they all feel like they got to be on eggshells when they talking about the kids to her. Okay, to even go in the basement. That's the plan. No, the CPS went there Sunday. She hasn't been drunk or high since. Exactly. Exactly. So she may, like I said, she trying. But imagine when it ain't no more CPS looking at her ass. I ain't never seen the brother. Watch her make my ass. Watch, watch her make my ass. I be having to catch her. I'm so you ain't really going to see the brother. The brother always got a mask on. He ashamed. He know what the fuck is hitting for. Well, since if we get too much money, she get her own from SS, SSI, and kids get their own check till 18. Yeah, that's what we say. But Sunburn gets it for them. Absence of the dad and just eat. Right, right, Tasha, right. I'm telling y'all, she getting money. She getting more than $900. I, I, won't, I believe that that's how much she getting, but they also add on more for the kids. Oh, okay. Girl, and if they don't, they need to get their ass down to the office. They definitely tired of seeing her. <laughs> right, Mocha? I'm starting to really believe that. I'm starting to really believe that's the only time her ass go to the hospital. Is when she having issues, the latest three interview issues. She was probably in that burn on drugs. Cause ain't no way. Girl, you her and the baby father probably high as a fucking kite. And you know she was dancing then, so she was drunk and high. Me don't know her. She'll pull up the smack. Girl, pull up in a broke ass wheelchair. Now who the fuck gonna get her up the stairs so she can get out the door? Funny. All right, y'all. Look, I'm about, I'm about to shut it down. Y'all in the bushes, come out and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Okay, so look, y'all. I'm about to shut it down. Y'all see y'all in a couple of days. Or oh, something else happened on these goddamn YouTube streets. I'm running right back on this live. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. So look, y'all have a good night. And enjoy the rest of y'all week. If I don't see y'all, whatever. Um, I just wanna just wanna say bye to everybody. Mocha, Laura, Halima, Roxanne. Let me see. Black, Seven Carrot, Karen, Fifi, Steven, LS. Who else we got? Who else we got? Tasha, Patty Betty, thank y'all so much, man. Y'all just don't know. 
I, I love this and I love to see the support. I really do. And I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. LS, I don't know if I said LS. Keish. Wales. I'm going. Miss Kookaburra. Wales. Who else? Who else? Karen. I don't know if I said Karen, but Karen. Wales. Nanya. Trying to get everybody. Virgo. Yes, my girl Virgo came through for us. Uh, let me see. Of course, my baby gotcha. Vanessa. Boss lady was up in the building. Let me see. Well, I don't know if I said Vanessa, but Vanessa. Tennessee. Trying to get everybody, y'all. I'm trying to get everybody before I click off. I don't know if I said seven carrot, but yes, my babe, seven carrot. Is that it? Is that it? Ah, simply Vanna. Oh, I think that was it. Of course, my babe Samantha. My my day ones, of course, y'all know. I always appreciate you guys. My mods, I love you guys. And I want you guys to have a good week. Yes, turn them notifications on. Butterfly Kisses, you too, baby. Turn them notifications on, y'all, because I might be going live. I see some shit. I'm coming. All right, so y'all have a good night. I love you guys.